interesting that we have these two laws. We're supposed to have unity consciousness. That's higher than cosmic and God consciousness. That's the highest consciousness in the Bhagavad Gita that there is. Uh, that they talk about. I'm sure there's higher ones once we get to unity, but that's where we're um, heading to as, a, as, as we evolve. But then they give us the law of polarity, which I just think is fascinating. The law of oneness is really what it's called in um, Hermes. calls it the law of oneness instead of unity consciousness. Um, the law of oneness states that everything is connected to everything else. And after spending six years writing about unity consciousness, which was um, when Isis said, you know, that I was going to be writing about unity, I just thought, you're kidding. Like, nobody wants to know about unity consciousness <laughs> right now. You know, it's not a popular subject, y'all. But um, after finishing the whole thing and getting it published and reading and going out and talking to people, I really feel like unity consciousness is our own mind, body, and spirit. 